As long as I don't touch it to anything. Alright. I'm glad we didn't go to the hospital because it, it's doing much better today. It, I mean, it hurts, but I'm glad we didn't go to the hospital and spend the money. Yeah. So, thank uh. you. Thank you for taking care of your, your accident prone wife. Yeah, and I keep wanting to tie you to that bed. <laughs> Then you'll have to get a bedpan. <laughs> and a hose. Just remember that. <laughs> Hosing you off. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Not crying this morning. Um, my hand still kind of hurts, but only when I touch it to stuff, it doesn't hurt just to be out. Like last night when I didn't have it soaking in the vinegar, when it dried off and I had it out with the air hitting it, it hurt, but... It's still red. Um, it's like a bad sunburn. Yeah, this, the swelling has gone down now, so it's no longer swollen. Um, I did my blood sugar this morning, and it was 173. They started me on metformin, so just a half a pill before breakfast and a half a pill before dinner. So I just took my first, first uh, half a pill this morning, and I'm eating right now. Um, but, um, sorry about shout-outs last night. We will get to do shout-outs, um, tonight. And we'll answer the trivia question for tonight and ask a new trivia question. So, that's about it for now. Yeah. Look at what my mother-in-law just got me, or got us. We got a shamrock, or uh, top of the hat. Top hats. We got feathers with a shamrock. Is that shamrock? <laughs> yep. With a shamrock in it. And we got pinwheels. I was going to take off with those. <laughs> and, and Boomer's saying hi. Yeah, hi. Hello. Hello there, pussycat. Hi. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. So there's Val's hand. Pretty red. Still swollen. I got this little bump right here. Do you think that's a start of a blister? No, I don't think so. Okay. Goes all the way over to here. But the main part that hurts is right in here. Yeah. So we'll put some more Neosporin on it. Yeah, I have it right here. But I gotta, I'm gonna Let eat. You eat first, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So. Your new groovy hat? Yeah, I like my... I'm gonna have my... to put the fan on you, see if we can get them going. <laughs> I may fly away. Okay. <laughs> he just has these tiny little bursts of energy. And then he stopped. Nobody's looking at you. Hi guys! So we just finished watching April Fool's Day while I'm doing some work on the computer because we didn't do shout outs last night. I'm behind and I don't want to feel rushed later tonight to try and do them so I'm doing some now. Um, wearing my new little thingies that my mother-in-law brought me over and now we're going to did you turn the TV off, or are we not going to watch it's it? It's just paused. Oh, okay, because the TV looks like it's off. It's just paused on a blank screen. Oh, 
Okay. We're going to watch The Changeling. There we go. So. The opening scene. Excited about that. And, but we're still, I'm going to keep working while we're watching because we've seen it 50 million times, but it's always a good movie. I love this movie. And, um, Kevin, what are you going to be working on? I am going to sell off some of our DVDs. Yay! Get rid of some of the stuff that's lying around the house. Yeah. We have a whole bunch of stuff in the front closet, too. I don't know if some of them are DVDs, but I think a lot of them are VHSs. Yeah, don't quite know what to do with VHS. Nobody buys them anymore. Hello, everybody! Hello! Look what Kevin got me! Some bubble wrap. Yep. Now I just bounce off things. Good. <laughs> it's time for neighborhood community shout outs. My hand's all shiny because I got Neosporin on it. <laughs> it hurts. Mm -hmm. I was afraid. I got hair on my face. I was afraid to touch anything. How to take anything out of the microwave today. Okay, so do you all remember Justina C? She was um, our subscriber from way back and she was having, um, we, we did a GoFundMe for her because she was having fertility problems. Well, we got some good news. Someone has donated the IVF medications for them. So she goes to the doctor on this coming Monday at 9 a.m. to see what her next step is. Even though someone's donated the IVF medications, it's still going to cost them like almost $9,000. But that's a lot better than what they were facing. So Everybody keep them in your thoughts and prayers that they are going to be able to use the IVF medication and move forward with move forward with the um, insemination, I'm assuming. So anyway, Justina C, everybody keep her in your thoughts and prayers. Thank you. And we told this girl we were going to give her a shout-out yesterday, but we didn't do shout-outs yesterday because of my, um, keep your hands to yourself. We didn't do shout-outs yesterday because of my little, um, mishap. So, Demi from Stater Brothers, shout-out to you. I hope you're watching today. Sorry we didn't get to you yesterday, but... I spilled hot soup on my hand and burned myself. Pammy Clinton! Where have you been, girl? We've missed you. Welcome back. When our, our regulars don't come yet, we get scared. We think something happened. Madeline R.C. Now, I know, your name kind of sounds a little familiar to me, but I'm, I'm not always right on these, so I always play it safe. Welcome to the neighborhood. Master Yoda, we've missed you too. You've been missing for a while. Glad to have your back. Glad to have your back. Glad to have you back. <laughs> so, yeah, don't disappear on us. All right. Uh, Ruddard 13 RD. Ruddard 13 RD. Welcome to the neighborhood. And he's got a channel that he does fireworks and all kinds of stuff on it. Fun stuff, it sounds like. So go by and check out his channel. Give it a thumbs up. If you like it, subscribe and follow along. Crystal Plain. Welcome to the neighborhood. And Mel Mel. Hallis? Yeah. Mel Mel Hallis, welcome to the neighborhood. Ah. And 
I am going to be sending this out to one person in particular because I told her I would, but I figured I'd announce it to everybody. Um, I announced it once before. Amanda Nichols had given me this um, website to go to if you do your grocery shopping at Walmart. Plug your receipt information into this um, website and they will match all the prices for like 50 stores um, if, you, if they sell the same product at a lower price. So you'll get a refund. It's savingscatcher.walmart.com. So if everybody wants to uh, take advantage of that, go right ahead. It's time for Neighborhood Community. Is it working? Go ahead. Is it working? Of course it's working. It's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. She said it to her fans. <laughs> You're weird. <laughs> and you all know what that means. Oh. And Kevin's got a little bit of splaining to do about this credit, that this trivia question. All right. Okay, so... Uh, the, the, the rules for surviving a horror film as given by um, the movie Scream. Okay, no sex, uh, no drinking or drugs, and never say I'll be right back. Now, um, the source that I had actually had other ones, and to, from what I saw, those are the ones that were actually stated in the movie. And I'm not sure where the other ones come from, but this came from a, a pretty good source. The fourth one was supposed to be everyone is suspect. And then there's two more that's supposed to have been provided by the killer. Um, five was, uh, if, if you won't survive if you ask who's there, and you will not survive if you go to investigate a strange noise. So number one was Amanda Nichols. Number two was Terry Johnson. Three was Christy Scheiber. Four was Mom's Vlog 80, five was Tanya Longley, six was Greg Myers, and seven was Bambi S. Tonight's trivia question. Tonight's trivia question is about a real classic 1973, The Exorcist with Linda Blair, uh, directed by uh, Friedkin, is the guy's name, written by Blatty, I can't remember, I always remember last names, I don't know why. Um, so here's a, here's a funny question. What brand of pea soup was used in the projectile vomit scenes? And yes, it was pea soup. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We love you all so very much. We would not be here today if it weren't for all of you out there. Thumbs up. Make sure you go by and check out the Neighborhood Zoo, Paranormal Investigations with the Neighbors, P.I.N., Megan's Arts and Crafts, and we will see you guys all tomorrow. Bye. Bye.